The Navy Commission? Oh, the Naval. Yeah, Who wants Russian, to reconsider? Yeah, you had the Russian Navy in there. But, uh, <laughs> no, I was saying that I talked to, uh, we shouldn't allow it. I was involved with these committees. No, I'm not. All right. The Naval Committee Fund, as we are referring to, uh, we voted on December 26th, 08 to recommend. That is to say, not to recommend. Right. Unanimously. Right. What article number again? 41. 41, thank you. Formally 42. 42. Right, thank you. Was it formally 43 at all? <laughs> it was 41. It's not an official number anyway, so if those at home don't pay attention to the numbers. Well, could I ask the town manager to speak on it if the committee won't? Does the committee object to reconsidering the? No. I see no objection. Mr. Mr. Uh, town manager, uh, Fred Welsh, you're welcome to give us much wisdom on this. Chairs aren't good for the uh, <coughs> Uh, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, uh, the reason we placed this article or requested it be placed, <clears throat> as you know, we had the USS Hampton here for two years. Um, we had a USS Hampton committee. Uh, the Hampton contributed something in the order of more than $50,000 worth of work to the town uh, in building different facilities and helping us clean the town up. Uh, we were asked by the Department of the Navy to host the uh, the USS Virginia, which replaced the Hampton over at the Navy Yard, uh, and they've already committed to do more than $30,000 worth of work for the town, uh, basically in Kids Kingdom, which needs to be completely rebuilt. Um, the town does have to invest something in the order of $15,000 in drainage work over there in order to get the work done. Uh, the $10,000 was placed in here because the members of the committee have been taking the money out of their pocket to uh, host these people and to take them to town events and to town activities. Uh, and uh, we thought that was inappropriate to do that. Uh, but we should uh, bring these uh, people to um, the various activities that are conducted in the town by the, the Historical Society and other groups. Uh, and we have to pay for that. So uh, we thought that was inappropriate to have these people take that out of their pocket as the host committee. Um, which seemed a little far-fetched considering in this particular case we're getting $30,000 worth of work out of them for the Kids, kids Kingdom to, res to, uh, to erect it uh, and to do some other work in town. So that was the reason the, the money was put in there and I guess that's the explanation. Fred, um, is this a government committee? It's no. a town committee. It's created by the Board of Selectmen? Yes. So uh, is it an advisory committee to the Board of Selectmen? It's just a committee. It's not an advisory to anybody. It's a committee to do this job. Right. So the Board of Selectmen created this committee. That's correct. And they and they are assigning or yeah, assigning people to work on that committee. People right? volunteer for the committee. The right. selectmen appoint them, and uh, they move forward from there. Yeah, how many people are on? How many seats are on the committee? Uh, it's unlimited right now. I believe there are six people on the committee. Okay. Thank you. Can I? Speak to why I originally had it. Regina, with would you like to flow? Yes, it goes back to the whole transparent thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was asked by Mike Edgar to be the Board of Selectmen rep to this committee. And then time went by, I'd never heard anything. And then I found out they had a meeting, which I don't even know if they really had the meeting or not, but subsequently I found out there was another meeting and I stressed my concerns with the town manager about how I'm asked to be a selectman rep and I don't even know when these meetings are occurring. So we had that conversation and the message was relayed over to, uh, actually Mike Edgar came in I believe last Monday and the reason why the meeting time ch change got made was so that I could attend because I have a selectman meeting at 7 o'clock so they're going to push the meeting up to 6 o'clock and they're going to make sure I stay informed and I want to try to recruit some young people so that we can continue this. I think this is something good for the town. I think if we can get these Navy guys who are here for two years anyway to come in and do some work, but I want to be involved and I want I want to be the communication point between what goes on and you know bringing that back to the board so the board can stay up. And I think my transparency issues were concerned. I had to sort of get in the middle of it. I've had subsequent discussions with both Renee and Mike Edgar, and that's why I'm asking the. The board to reconsider. Oh yeah. All right. We've heard the uh, the discussion to date on why we may want to reconsider. 
has anybody moved at all in terms of their previous vote? I am. I, I, I also have You're moving, Frank? I'd like to reconsider this and uh, in my vote, but I also have one question. Uh, are these active duty people coming in that we're hosting? Can we to speak on this? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're we're hosting active duty personnel, which definitely changes my vote. Fred, when we host active duty personnel, is it any from from any specific Navy or just Navies in general? The United States Navy. All right, because that's not specified anywhere. So, <laughs> Mr. Walker. Well, I, I I'm proud to speak uh, with this because I'm the only one sitting at this table, I think, Mr. Pluff will attest to that, that was heavily involved from day one. 1996. Yeah. This stuff about, and I know Mr. Welch is delivering a message and I appreciate it for this, this stuff about the committee members spending their own money, really? We raised money. We had the governor at a cookout at Tuckfield. Mr. Pluff was there in 96. I was involved in three command. We hosted the USS Hampton. These guys do a great job, but they did public service as part of their Navy duties. And, and I don't know what, I'm, I'm really concerned, and I absolutely concur with what Mr. LeBranch said. This is a road we shouldn't be going down, to throw $10,000 into a Naval Committee fund. We were proud to be a part of it. And I'm gonna use Michael Roy and the Roy family, and Stephen was at that event too. Michael Roy years ago, and the family paid for a huge dinner, remember that Stephen down the, it was in the casino, paid, they didn't mind paying at all. There's all kinds of people that have done, Stephen's done volunteer work, I, I just, I've paid out of my own pocket, I still keep in t contact with three of the USS Hampton guys, I knew all, th I happened to be at all three uh, commanders, one I went to a change of guard ceremony in Norfolk, I love the fact, the idea of the committee, and I'm glad that you're going to be on it. But this stuff about giving them, uh, supporting this naval committee, I think we're, all, and, and as far as what it's costing, uh, you know, I don't know what Fred said about 30,000, this and that. Listen, they're doing community service. There's a lot of groups that do community service for us in this town, and also retired military, never mind active. Mm -hmm. I think it would really take away from uh, this. And the only thing I'm gonna add, the USS Hampton Committee raised money by selling mugs by selling t-shirts, by selling hats. Arthur Moody was on the, yeah. the christening of the USS Hampton back in 1991. Um, I was very involved all the years I was a selectman, proud of it. Um, I, I just, I don't like the, the strategy that they're talking about. I don't have any intentions of changing my vote on this and it's nothing to do with whether I'm for them. I love the Navy, I love the military, but we never went down this road, I, I don't, I'm not for it. All right, we're all ready to vote now. All those who actually want to vote to recommend this. Uh, who, who made the motion? Mr. LeBranch to recommend? Seconded by Mr. Frank, no doubt. Mm -hmm. uh, all those who actually want to vote to recommend this, please raise your hand. Uh, I see two, uh, Mr. Frank and Ms. Regina. All those who do not want to recommend, please raise your hand. Uh, that would be everyone except everyone else. I'm staying. Except Jerry, who's abstaining. So two five one. Two fifty one.